Hello YouTube, welcome back for another video from SNS Productions. This is Sovereign Guard, and I'm playing Warframe with my nephew, uh, Chaos Obliviator. Um, you know, sitting here and do some void runs. Probably a good defense or something tonight. Um, let's see, nothing on alert worth anything, in my opinion. Not doing those. Alright, let's go to the void. I have a 30 to 35 defense. Uh, let's see if we can get anything out of that. So I'm running frost, as you can see. You know, big guy right here. Um, I've been putting in a lot of work on Warframe here lately. I've kind of taken a small break from For Honor. Don't worry, I've not forgot about my road to Rep 30 with my Conqueror. But right now, I just needed a break from for honor so we're doing a little bit of warframe and we're going to be doing a void defense which is pretty fun um for those of you that have warframe and you know what it's like cool thanks for tuning in showing support for those of you who don't have warframe that are looking at getting a better grasp of concept on it that uh, are looking to play it it is a very good game time consuming is all get out but it's a good game. As you can see, I'm making my ship move around. A little bit of lag spike here because of loading, but hey, nobody's perfect. <laughs> um, normally I skip the cinematic right here, but as you can see, the two ships going in there. Um, we actually just picked up a third person. Um, that's the, the person arrive. I'm playing with right there, Chaos Obliviator. He's running Transfer the Rhino. Signal strong. We're ready for battle. Um, so yeah, that's the random player we got. Looks like they're running a mag prime, so that's gonna work to our favor because they'll be able to take out the shields. Um, yeah, so cool thing about Frost, which is the character I'm playing. Keep in mind, I have an skin on for him. This is not his default look. Uh, he's good for defense missions like this because he can put up what's called the struggler. And as you can see, I'm dropping bodies. I can actually hit my target. I miss every run. I have a little look close and personal one. <laughs> point down on that so whoever doesn't have it can pick it up. Um you'll notice at the bottom right of the screen for those of you who haven't played Warframe there is a little white bar with a blue background above the number 270. That is your energy meter and you need energy to do your skills such as the snow globe, my freezing everything and killing it kind of thing and all that good stuff. Case in point, we punch the ground. I dropped it from 235 to 235. Now, I can do that, it does that, I come over here. And this is the one that takes a big chunk because it's my, what they consider, ultimate ability. It's called Avalanche. Freezes everything around me, drops giant ice spikes on the head, kills it, and if it doesn't die when that happens, it stays perfectly. It's based on power duration, power strength, as well as your range. And power efficiency controls whether or not uh, it consumes its normal required amount, or it consumes more than normal, or less than normal. Higher efficiency percentage, very, very good. Means less energy used to produce your skill. And that's all it is, so. Alright. We just got a fourth person to join up. When they join up, I'll see if I can find them and uh, show you what Warframe they're using. Um, I'm currently using the Volcar sniper rifle for my primary weapon. As you can see, it's got some serious kick. Um, my secondary weapon is Gamma Core, which is my little laser beam of death. 
there's not much that I can't kill with it because of the fact that it does magnetic damage, which takes away the shield, and it does radiation damage, which uh, really hurts them, and uh, also makes them attack one another if I get the actual radiation proc to go off. Um, Come in here and do a little avalanche, pick them off. Oh, someone used the laser. And we're just gonna pick up my nephew first because well, he's awesome like that. <laughs> and now we'll come pick up these guys. Oh, it looks like he is running Volt. Yeah, he's running a Volt with a player generated skin and helmet. Uh if you ever play Warframe, it's called Energy which is uh, basically what the characters are called. They're called Eno, um, and what they use are Warframes like Frost and whatnot. Um, here, I'll make my Tenno come out. As you can see, this guy floating around, but that's my Tenno. <laughs> uh, just recently completed a quest called uh, The Second Dream, which gives you the ability to do that. So yeah, um, at the end of every five waves in a defense mission, every five minutes in a survival, you get uh, break in those basically where you can choose to extract and end the mission or continue fighting and go another five waves against harder enemies and run the risk of higher rules. So we're going to sit here and do this for a couple minutes. And, uh, see how well it goes. Not sure how long I've already been recording, but it's been too awful long, so... And if it happens to, you know, require more than a video, don't worry, I will post all the footage from this tonight, so... Um... Not sure about much of when I'm going to play, uh... For honor again, but it'll probably be sometime this week, um, in between work and all the other events I have planned out that I have to do. So, yeah, there will be some for honor content coming up uh, within the next two weeks. Definitely uh, within the first week of the new month, we'll have some more for honor videos up. But uh, yeah, so let's get into this. Um, oh, I forgot to mention, <laughs> my sword here is called the Broken War, which I got at the end of that mission that I had to unlock the ability to come out the side of my Warframe and make everything play, because that's the path I took. As you can see, that weapon is still nice and new and very unpowerful. Walls, reload the moon. As you can see, it tends to drop off. The little guys are easily one shot, but the bigger dudes, it occasionally takes more than one bullet. But as you can see from that, you know. Headshots are a uh, pretty good deal with this thing. I do have three different levels of zoom, and when I'm zoomed all the way in, it does give me an additional uh, damage buff. So, this is what continue? I was talking about at the end of five waves on defense and at the end of five minute intervals on survival mission types. You can choose to either extract or continue fighting. If you would extract, you get Keep what's fighting. down at the bottom Another that you've earned so far. Um, the only downside to that is if you choose to battle and you don't make it to the next extraction interval, you lose all of your rewards. So, you gotta be careful with that. It's one of those catch 22s. Darn if you do, darn if you don't. Oh, 
my frost is not as strong as it should be because I don't have the uh, intensify mod here to increase my power strength which is my actual solid uh, ice abilities would do more damage than they do. But all in all, it's still a pretty good uh, war drum to play with even if you don't have the max out the uh, Flying rage and all those monsters and the fake stuff. But, you know, good things come to those who wait. And I'm being very patient with trying to get that mod. I'll probably end up just doing a few things, getting a couple of prime uh, Warframe parts and selling them for platinum, which is. Uh, your in-game donation currency. Um, you don't actually have to donate to get it. You can just invest some time and effort to go farm for the mod and the blueprint parts for like prime warframes and weapons and turn around and sell them. And you can sell them for platinum and the people that have the platinum will uh pay for the mod and whatnot so that they don't have to go out and it's pretty cool the easy way to make platinum is just you gotta time it right hope and pray to god you have what someone wants to buy right there and yeah you may sit in trade chat for a couple of hours trying to get someone to purchase what you got but you know in the long run when you sell it and you get what you wanted from it hey power to you bud Headshot on the big ancient. Ugh. Cody, you know, off mighty quiet, you know what I'm talking about. Well, you know a whole lot more about the game than I do, so I'd rather you speak about it before I make an error, I guess you could say. <laughs> I ain't no error in learning, boat. Let's give these guys a nice big old avalanche. Flip over to the game of war and just wreck some faces. Sounds good. Oh, that 4,000 crit. 7,000. Oh, I'm missing one minute. <laughs> it's the only thing I don't like about this gun. It's only got a six round magazine. Let's go pick up some energy. Oh, yeah. it's dark. You just let me know. Uh, I'm good. How's my globe up there on the uh, projected? Uh, gone. <laughs> gone? Alright. Uh, you got a Arctic Eximus coming up the middle and a heavy gunner. There's the globe. And there's Avalanche. Ooh, neutralizer. Nullifier oh, where? Well, nullifier, uh, exactly. It was. <laughs> oh, I got things to shape up. Aw, oh, man, the mag got it before I did. <laughs> I was about to pop his head right off. <laughs> oh. Let's see what we got up here. No chest available. Those are locked. Oh, wait, I saw one. Bit of my looting action. Ooh, another one. Yay! Open the box. And here we go back over here. And here we got some distance. I'm about to put up some serious damages. 